and um, we'll start with um, some warm-ups. So it's a variation from uh, on the traditional yoga. Um, so let's just start. Inhaling, hands up, reverse, and then just gently go from side to centre to side and back to centre. Breathing out, turn to one side. Breathing in, come to the centre. And breathing out, turn to the other side. Come to the centre. Press your feet down. Press the palms of the hands up and look up only if that's good for your neck. So you come into a very slight back bend. Bring your head back to centre. Lower your hands to shoulder height. Turn to look beyond the fingers of one hand. Bring your head back to the centre and turn to look beyond the fingers of the other hand. Come back to the centre. Bring your hands, palms together in front of the heart and press them against each other. This is very good for under the arms. Um, so um, just a press, lower your hands to the waist and then lift your heels as a balance, encouraging the left as I go instantly wrong, the left and the right side of the brains to coordinate with one another. And then lower your heels back down to the ground and engage your abdominal muscles by bending your knees, bottom goes away from you, look along the ground and you should feel your abdominal muscles engage slightly. Press your feet down as you roll up to standing again. Raising your hands, stretch your fingers and then breathing out as you bend your knees, sliding your hands down to your shins, press your hands into your shins Lengthen from the tailbone to the top of the head. Breathe out, bend your knees, widen your elbows. Breathe in, press your hands into your shins as you lengthen along your spine once more. Stay here as you breathe out. And then breathing in, bend your knees, press your feet into the ground and roll up vertebra by vertebra. Lift and roll your shoulders and clasp your hands behind you, aiming the knuckles towards the ground. This opens you at the shoulder level, the lung meridians in Chinese um, medicine. And then turn to one side, clasping your hands still, come to the centre and turn to the other side and come to the centre. And then release the hands. Just lift and roll your shoulders once more. Raise your hands up like wings, so bending your knees. This moves all the joints. You'll see this in Tai Chi as a very gentle overall exercise. You're weight bearing but you're on your feet and you're moving all your joints, so it's a very beneficial exercise. If that's quite strong on your shoulders, just bend your elbows in a little bit more to take the strain off your shoulders. And then bring your hands back to the centre, lifting and rolling your shoulders. Just um, imagining your nose as a pencil, draw a horizontal figure of eight. So breathing in as your head goes up and breathing out as your head goes down. You start to breathe in as you cross over on your eight. So this becomes obviously a neck exercise, but it's also a thyroid and parathyroid exercise, combining as the head moves up and down with pineal and pituitary glands, and they are part of the metabolic master control of our bodies. And if you want to um, explore additionally the left, right brain hemisphere communication, you can start to reverse your eight and notice, if you haven't before, that you tend to start with your dominant side, your dominant part of your head, and how easy it is, as I am now doing, going wrong, how easy it is to get the movement muddled up and then come to standstill. 
Feet are still hip width apart and then just very gently sway from side to side. Again, you'll find this in Tai Chi as well as um, certainly in Tibetan yoga, moving all your energies. Um, and the medicine side of Tibetan yoga is called Yantra yoga. So in Yantra yoga, the movement is much more exaggerated, where they almost fling their hands around their shoulders and you can lift your heels, but how much you move is entirely up to you. And then come to gently sway less, and then come to the center. Bring your feet comfortably hip width apart, lift and roll your shoulders. This opens the energy gateways up to your head. Just take a couple of breaths here and notice your breathing. You're also giving your body a chance to recover from the movement that we've made before we move on to the next movements. So pressing your feet into the ground, breathing in, raise your arms up, stretch your fingers, either looking ahead or looking up. Breathing out, lower your hands. This becomes a mindful as we're coordinating, as we do this again, the movement of our body with our breath. Start the breath and then start to lower your hands. So you're wrapping the movement with your breath. Start to breathe in, then start to lift your arms upwards. Hold the breath and then start to breathe out as you lower your hands back down alongside you. And again, if you open your fingers, you can feel the air between the fingers. So this connects into the heart energy and the sense of touch and the element of air. And then inhaling up, stretch up, press your feet into the ground and then breathing out, lower your hands back down to the side. So this next movement is... Uh, asymmetrical, which means that we work on one side at a time. So I'm going to have my left hand behind my waist, palm turned upwards. Breathing in, I'm going to raise my right arm up, stretching up, and the choice is to look ahead or look up. Breathing out, bend your knees as you lower your hands to the ground, but if that's too much, then lower them where you can, perhaps your shin. Press your feet down as you come up, stretching up, looking either ahead or up, stretch your fingers, breathing out, lower to where it's appropriate for you, breathing in, stand up, breathing out, press your feet down as you raise up. This simple exercise ticks a lot of boxes, including cleaning our energies, our aura. So it disconnects us from the stresses and strains and vibrations of the outside world. And you'll find variations of this movement in Kundalini Yoga. And then stretch your hands up and lower your hands and release the other one. Lift and roll your shoulders. And of course we're going to do the other side. So taking your right hand, bending it at the elbow and palm um, is facing outwards. As you raise your left hand up, breathing out, bending as you lower. Breathing in, hand up. Breathing out, lower. Breathing in, hands up. Breathing out, lower. Breathing in, hand up. Breathing out, lower. Breathing in, hands up. Breathing out, 
to lower. And then the last movement, breathing in, stretch your hands up, stretch your fingers, breathing out, lower your arm. Release the other hand, lift and roll your shoulders. And then in these traditional series of yoga, you come to lying on the mat in Shavasana or your version of Shavasana. So it can be knees bent, knees resting together in constructive rest, or simply Shavasana. And the reason for doing this is to give the body a chance to recover um, and absorb the movement that we've made. So just rest, your feet drop out to the side, your palms in classic Shavasana turn upwards and slightly away from the body. And while we're here, just circle the ankles very gently in one direction. And then very gently circle the ankles in the other direction. And then relax. Bend one knee and then bend the other knee up and hug your knees into your chest. Your hands are holding your knees. Just gently rock from side to side. Massaging the lower back. And now as you breathe in, extend the feet upwards and the hands go up and behind you. You extend your heels and the backs of the hands can touch the ground. You can bend your elbows if this is easier for you. Breathing out, hug your knees back into your chest. Breathing in again, heels up to the ceiling, hands up and behind you, extend your heels. Chin comes into the chest. Breathing out, hug your knees into your chest. Breathing in, again, heels up, feel the stretch along the back of the legs, hands behind. Breathing out, hug your knees into your chest. And breathing in again, heels up, extend, hands behind you. Start to breathe out and then lower the hands and hugging the knees back into the chest. Again, stretching up and breathing out. Hug the knees into the chest and once more just rock very gently from side to side. And supporting the legs under the thighs, bring the feet back down to the ground so your knees are up to the ceiling. Your hands now are palms down on the floor alongside you. Your chin, well your neck is long, so your chin is not sticking up. And just explore a pelvic tilt movement where you flatten the back to the ground as if you're going to lift your bottom up and then release, relax, so that there's a little gap on the small of the back. And then flattening the back. And then releasing. And flattening the back. And releasing. So this time, as you flatten the back, carry on to press your feet into the ground, lifting your bottom, your chin tucks into your chest as you bend your elbows and lift your arms up above you. Backs of the hands can rest on the ground or wherever they come. It's a rolling bridge, breathing out, 
Then start to lower your arms and your vertebrae back down onto the ground. Hands come palms down alongside you. Pressing your feet into the ground, flattening your back, going on to lift your bottom and lift your arms, chin tucks in and stretch out and back behind you. This form of bridge as you breathe out and then start to lower back down to the ground is very strengthening for the lower back and yet it's a very safe movement because the ground is supporting you. Again, breathing in as you lift up, stretching behind you, you lift up as little or as much as you would like. And breathing out, begin to lower your arms and lower your vertebra back down to the floor. And then hug one knee and then the other knee into the chest. And once more, just gently rock from side to side. And enjoy the massage across your lower back. Bringing your knees to the centre, you're still holding them. Hug your knees into your chest as you breathe out. And then breathing in, still holding the knees, let the knees travel away from you to arm's length. Breathing out, hug your knees into your chest. Breathing out, let the knees travel away from you. Again, hugging the knees into the chest and let the knees travel away. Hugging the knees into the chest and let the knees travel away. And carry on a couple of times in your own breath. This is a variation of um, a Sanskrit, uh, it's called Apanasana. The apana is working the foundational energy residing at the lower abdominal level and down the legs. So it's a very soothing pose for the lower back. And you're massaging up and down the lower spine, supported by the floor, to really encourage blood flow and, um, along the spine. And yet it's a very, very safe posture. And then finally, just drop your hands under your thighs to support the legs as you place one foot and then the other foot back down onto the floor. Have your feet maybe slightly wider than hip width apart and your hands rest on your abdomen and your elbows out to the side. And then just very gently sway your knees, both of them in the same direction so your hip will lift off the ground. Bring the knees back to the centre and let both knees sway to the other side with your hip lifting off the ground. And your hands will just glide over your abdomen around the navel area, giving you a very soft massage across your lower your navel area. All the way around the navel, there are many acupressure or energetic points linking to all the um, organs of the body, so it becomes a very um, soothing movement. Again, your back and body is supported by the ground and how much you drop your knees down and lift your hips off the ground is up to you. As you sway from side to side, the knees can go right to the ground or if you're practicing at home, you can have a bolster under either side just to support your knees and thighs as it comes down. But then come back to knees being central, move your feet in if they were slightly wider than the hip width apart and enjoy just the breath in and out. Before we come to sitting upright, either by rolling up or rolling to the side, taking the time so that we're not disturbing the energy that has been created in the movements that we've made, but then come very gently to roll up and then come to kneeling on your knees and then come to kneeling up. 
You can always roll your mat or take a blanket or jumper, something to support you under the knees if that's helpful. Have your knees again comfortably hip width apart as you kneel up. Breathing in, raise your arms up, stretch your fingers, thumbs go behind you, little fingers in front, either looking ahead or if that's good for your neck, look up, but choose which is more comfortable for you. And then breathing out, bend. Your elbows come onto the floor, so you're almost like a little rabbit. And then slide your hands towards your knees as you slide your leg hands up your thighs, raising your hands up, stretch your fingers, breathing out, bend your elbows, sliding your hands down, sliding your hands along the floor so that your elbows come onto the floor. Slide your hands back as you breathe in and kneel up. Stretching your arms out and up, breathing out, bend your elbows, sliding your hands out, elbows onto the floor. Slide your hands back, Slide your hands up your thighs if you need support, raising your hands up and then breathing out, bending, sliding your hands along the floor to support you coming forward. Just feel the stretch at the lower back area, the lumbar area. And then last time as we slide our hands up, stretching up as you breathe in. You're stretching under your lymph flows, your energetic pathways, stretching, giving space for all the abdominal organs. And last time as we breathe out, sliding the hands along so that the elbows can rest on the ground. And just take an in and an out breath here. Bottom is slightly up in the air. You can come further down with your bottom towards your heels. This will be more of a strain on your knees. So just choose what's comfortable for you. And then pressing your hands down, moving your bottom to the side and coming to a seated position. If you can come cross-legged, that's ideal in Sukhasana. If not, then come to being comfortable with your legs. And we're going to um, just finish with a breathwork exercise. So taking your right hand Blocking your right nostril with your thumb. You can be very classic about it and have your second or third finger up or just tucked in and your fourth finger out. But I'm not going to be very fussy about that. Just blocking your right nostril. So just for a few breaths, you're only breathing in, through, in and out through your left nostril. It's a preparation practice for a breathing exercise called Nadi Shodhana or alternate nostril breath. So it's very balancing for the left and the right sides of both the body and the mind. And it's one of the breaths that's universally uh, beneficial for anybody, people who are ill, someone who's not ill, Wherever stage you're at, it's very beneficial. If your nose is blocked because you've got a cold or you've got an allergy, you can just loosen the thumb against the right nostril so that it's not quite so closed off. And as you breathe in and out, just notice the left side. And then just a couple more breaths. If your right elbow is um, strained because you're holding your elbow up, then please do lower your elbow. And then just release your right hand. Just take a couple of breaths through both nostrils and notice the difference. And then, when you're ready, take the same right hand and this time block your left nostril with your ring finger, your fourth finger. 
want ideally your elbows up, but I do understand that that can be quite a strain. So just wherever you're comfortable. And you're now breathing just through your right nostril. So the left side of the body is um, the passive side, connecting both to um, certainly passive emotions, calm, what's called the yin side. And the right side of the body, if you think, the energy meridians run through the liver and the gallbladder. So in um, Chinese medicine, they're very traditionally associated with rising energy, anger. So this is balancing that side. It's the yang side. And then very gently drop your hand back down. Breathe again through both nostrils, breathing in and breathing out. And then very gently open your arms, stretch your fingers, bring your hands to your heart centre, take a bow for yourself for the day ahead. We've worked both our bodies and cleared our minds throughout all our energy centers in this very traditional yoga practice and thank you very much.